Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Bliss Tech Solutions Tuesday 2 Minute Tech Tips. So we're doing another tech tip on Word and following on from the tech tip where we told you how to create the table of contents and we're now going to look at cross-referencing because cross-referencing in Word is an easy way to provide links to other parts of the document without having to keep typing it. So let's say for example we want to put refer somebody to heading to on page four because that has some information that's relevant to this section so we could type it out manually but then if the name change or the heading or the page change we'd have to find all the references to that in the document and update it, it would be a nightmare so what we can do is use cross references so i'm just going to delete this and then go into references and then cross reference so the cross reference i want to use is a heading so I'll select heading and it will show all of our headings and we want to do heading 2 so we select that and insert and it inserts heading 2 in there I'll add a space and then the page that it's on so we say include page number and then above and below so it adds the full information insert so we've got please refer to heading 2 on page 4 so now the reference is in there I can hover over it and I can control click on that reference and it will take me to the place in the document so uh, here we are in the really good stuff we were referencing um, but if this changes if I change the page number so if I move this on to a different page rather than having to go back through the entire document and find everywhere I'd reference that I can literally I could highlight the entire document and select update field and it will update all of the fields including the table of content um, with that information so we see here it's automatically changed it to page 5 so using references in your documents as opposed to typing things in manually is a good way of referring to things in the document obviously but making sure that the locations within the document is automatically updated for you so you don't have to chase your tail trying to find it I hope you found this tip useful I'll see you again next week